boys and girls, this is Mrs. Lemoyne again, and we're doing Unit 5, Lesson 6, Compare Decimals on the Number Line. Let's locate and label decimals on the number line. That's our learning goal today. What do you notice? What do you wonder? What do you notice? What do you wonder? Well, I notice that there are three number lines, and each number line looks like it comes out of the one above it, right? So this looks like this comes out of right here, and this number comes out of right there. I'm wondering if we're going to use these number lines. Can I keep going and put more number lines in between? It's like, can I do another one here and go to 0 0.01? And would that go right here? 001, I should say. I wonder if that works. And what numbers go on the tick marks? I wonder that as well. What are the tick marks on the top number line? Well, if we end up with one over here, this has to be smaller than one and it's closest to zero. So I'm gonna put zero and one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and that would bring me to one or 10 tenths, right? And then over here, I could add in zero point, because it's from zero to one tenth now. So what are the numbers between here, right? So zero one, two hundredths, three hundredths, four hundredths, oops, five hundredths, zero there, zero and six hundredths, zero and seven hundredths. And so, and so on, all the way till we get to nine, right? Zero and eight hundredths, eight hundredths, put another zero, and zero and nine hundredths, and then the next number would be ten hundredths, like that, right? This one was ten tenths, I think I said ten hundredths. So then, um, what would be right here if these numbers are between zero and one tenth, or one hundredth, right? So that would have to be thousandths. 1,000th, oops, 2,000th, all the way to 9,000th, and then we would get to 10,000th or 100th. Whew, lots of work, but that's how it works, right? So hopefully you remember that. Okay, so today we're going to use the number lines like these to locate different decimals. Okay. On each number line, label all of the tick marks. Okay. So it's just like what we just did, right? So from zero to one, it are going to be my tenths. I guess I could write them underneath. I don't know. Does it matter to you, boys and girls, if we write it on top or underneath? I don't think it matters, does it, as long as they're labeled. So then here, I'm going to have numbers from 0 to 1 tenth. So these are going to be my hundredths. 1, 2 hundredths, 3 hundredths, 4 hundredths, 5 hundredths, 6 hundredths, 7, Oops, zero, nine. And then, of course, I'm noticing that this one goes to one hundredth, so these are going to be my thousandths. Let me get a better position here so I can write neatly. Zero and zero, zero, one. Two thousandths. Three thousandths. Don't forget that decimal or it doesn't make sense, does it? I'm going to write this one down here. Five thousandths, six thousandths, seven thousandths, eight thousandths, and zero, and nine thousandths. Okay? And then the next one would be ten thousandths, right? So it would look like that. Okay. Oops. 
how did you decide what to label the tick marks on the first number line? Well, I first look at what it's going to. And if it's going to 1, then I know that it's the numbers between 0, oops, sorry about that, 0 and 1. So I had to think about what numbers fit between 0 and 1 tenth. And then numbers between 0 and 1 hundredth. So I had to think about that, right? Okay, let's see what's next. Oops. Where is the 10 tenths on the first number line? 10 tenths. Where is 10 tenths on the first number line? Well, the number 1 is 10 tenths, right? And we talked about that, 9 tenths to 10 tenths. How did you decide what to label the tick marks on the second and third number lines? Well, we just talked about how we did that. We decided because we had to look at the end of where it was going. How is locating one thousandths different for each of the number lines? It was so close to zero on the first number line that I could not plot it. I could not estimate its location on the second number line, and then it was the first tick mark. I could estimate its location on the second number line, rather, and then it was the first tick mark on the last number line. Okay. All right, so here's our activity to label and compare decimals. So the tick marks, label the tick marks on each number line. So remember that this is going from five tenths to six tenths. So that means that between that, I'm going to have 51 tenths, right? 52 tenths, 53 tenths, or I could say 51 hundredths, 52 hundredths, 53 hundredths, 54, 55 hundredths, and that decimal point is super important, so don't forget it. 56, put that one up here, 57, 58, and 59. And then you see how it would go to 60 as my next number. So now I'm going from 53 hundredths to 54 hundredths. So I'm going to do 0 and 531 thousandths, 532 533, 534. So I'm now I'm labeling all of the thousandths, right, in between 53 hundredths and 54 hundredths. 537 thousandths. Don't forget those decimal points. 538 thousandths. And then 539 thousandths, right? Got to have that decimal point. And then my next number would be 540 thousandths or 5 and 54 hundredths. All right. And then the next one, I'm going to do the same thing, but it's going to be 57 all the way to 58, right? Hundredths. So I'm going to start with 571, 572 thousandths, 573 thousandths. Wrote that backwards. 73, Miss Lemoyne. And then 574 thousandths, 575, 576, 577, 578, 579. And the next number would five, 580, right? Thousandths. Which of the number lines would you use to compare 534 thousandths to 537? Well, I would use B, right? And I would compare here. And in order to compare, remember that on a number line, on any number line, the number to the right is always greater than the number to the left. So 537 thousandths, just like 537 is greater than 534 thousandths. And just like we did in the last couple of lessons, I could line up those decimal places and compare place value. We'll start with the ones, 
the fives are the same, the threes are the same, but that seven is greater than the four. So if I were to compare them, 537 thousandths is greater than 534 thousandths. Again, those decimal places and decimal numbers are super, super important. Okay, let's see what we're going to say now. Which number line would you choose to compare 534 thousandths to 537? We answered that, right? I like the middle one or B because those numbers were labeled and the tick marks and I could see which one was further to the right. Which number is greater? Well, we already said that, 537 thousandths because it's further to the right. So we could write that like this or the way Ms. Lemoyne wrote it in the last lesson was I wrote this one over here, oh, Miss Lemoyne. So I wrote 537 is greater than 534 thousandths. We can also say that 534 is less than with this symbol, right? That symbol right there. All right, activity three, activity three. Use the symbol less than, this is the less than symbol or greater than to compare the decimals two tenths to two hundredths. Well, here's two tenths, two tenths is already labeled. What would two hundredths look like? Where would that be on our number line? Well, remember that we can um, label it, right? So if I were to stack them up and compare the decimal points, This is like 20, so this is like 20, and this is like 2. So where would 2 be? If this were 10, 2 would be over here, wouldn't it? 0 and 2 hundredths. So we can say that 0 and 2 tenths, so we can write that as 2 tenths is greater than 2 hundredths. Okay. And do you see how I labeled it? I thought of it as hundredths. I thought of everything as hundredths. This would be ten hundredths and twenty hundredths. So two hundredths would be way over here next to the zero. All right, number two, use the less than or greater than, less than, greater than, to compare the decimals three tenths. So that would be this number here, right? And I can add a zero there to think of it like thirty hundredths because I'm comparing fourteen hundredths. So if this is twenty and this is 10, then I can do 11 hundredths, 12 hundredths, 13 hundredths, and there we are at 14 hundredths. So which one is bigger, 30 hundredths or 14 hundredths? Well, 30 hundredths. So we could write that as 3 tenths is greater than 14 hundredths. Okay, and the last one, Less than or greater than to compare the decimals 23 hundredths to 216 thousandths. So I'm going to think about it again in the same terms. I'm going to say this is 210, this is 220, this is 230, and 240. So 23 hundredths would be here, and 216 would be, here's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this would be... 216 thousandths. So I'm going to say that 23 hundredths is greater than 216 thousandths. And again, we could line up those decimal points if we wanted to do it that way, couldn't we? And we could start at the left, zero ones. I have the same number for twos. And then this number, 3, is greater than 1, so this whole number is greater than this one. All right, lots of different strategies there and easy ways to label that number line. How do the number lines help compare decimals? We can put the decimals exactly on the tick marks and then see which number is farther to the right. Today we use place value reasoning to locate and compare decimals to the thousands, placing and using the thousands place using number lines. I'm having a hard time reading today. All right. 
What number is located at the first tick mark after 23? Well, remember, if I think of it as 230 thousands, so 23 hundredths, the next number would be 231 thousandths. What, so let's put that here, I guess. I'll get 231 thousandths. What number is located at the last tick mark before 22 hundredths? So that would be over here, right? So if this were 220, what would be the next, the number before it? Or I could start at 21 and say this is 211, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 219 thousandths. So let's write that here, 219 thousandths. You see how it's coming together now? Which number is greater, and how do you know? Well, I know that 231 thousandths is greater than 219 thousandths because it is to the right of the number on the number line. I can also compare the place values. We have zero ones. We both have zero, uh, two tenths. But when I get to the hundredths, I have three hundredths here and only one hundredth here. So 231 thousandths is greater. And that's how I know it. All right, let's get rid of this so we can do our cool down. Locate, label, and compare numbers. Locate 355 thousandths and 359 thousandths on the number line. And then which is greater? So, again, I'm going from, I'm going to put in those thousandths, and that's going to help me to compare, right? So this is going to be 351 thousandths. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So here we have 355 thousandths, 56, 57, 58, 59. And here we have 359 thousandths. And 359 is going to be greater, is greater because it is to the right on the number line. All right. All right. That is it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on lesson seven.